Hey guys, Miss Hoke here. I teach Advanced Bio 2 Zoology and currently my kids are learning about Phylum Chordata. And what we have here this morning is we have a dogfish. If you've ever been to the Indianapolis Zoo, um, stuck your hand in the tank to feel, this is the exact same species um, that my kiddos are getting ready to dissect. So first thing that we're gonna take a look at is we're gonna take a look at the outside um, or exterior anatomy uh, to get yourself acquainted. So this is going to be the front end. You can actually see the mouth is not terminal. It's actually going to be on the underside. Um, here's the mouth. They also have two nostrils. May not be able to see that. You can see the eyes here. Back behind the eyes, we have two very specialized structures called spiracles. These are associated with the respiratory system of the dogfish. So water can enter in through the spiracles when the shark is not moving um, to help oxygenated water enter so that they can breathe. And then we do have our gill slits on either side. You can kind of see them here. And then obviously all of our fins. So we've got the paired pectoral fins up here. We've got the two dorsal fins, anterior and posterior. We have the caudal fin, and then underneath we have both the, uh, this is the pelvic fin right here, and that opens up into the cloaca. And this is an, actually a little girl. Um, if it were a male, there would actually be two appendages uh, extending from this fin called claspers. This one doesn't have it, so it is a female. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to cut into uh, this shark on the ventral side and take a look at the inside. Two very tiny incisions. We're gonna come, it's gonna be super tough. Um, if you were to feel this, um, it actually feels like sandpaper, um, which is kind of unique. Um, so if I go this way, it feels very smooth, but if I go this way, it's gonna feel a little bit rough. One other structure I forgot. You can actually, if you see, there looks like there's a little line right here. This is called the lateral line, and it's a sensory structure found in most of your fish. So we are, I made a little incision, and I'm gonna see if I can poke my scissors in there, and we are going to cut straight down to the tail end of the dogfish, right before we get to that pectoral fin down there. I'm gonna open her up like a T. Ooh, perfect. I might have to remove those flaps of skin. Normally, I have my kiddos T pin her down, um, but this dissecting pan will not allow me to do that. All right. Ooh. Beautiful. I actually accidentally cut into her internal organs just a little bit, but that is okay. So it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see. I will hold her up as best as I can. Okay, up underneath here, you can actually see a little knob um, and I could cut further into it here if I need to, but this little knob up here, that is actually going to be her heart. Uh, characteristic of cartilaginous fish, because sharks get really large, um, you're gonna see these yellow lobes right here. This is actually going to be her liver. Um, now, what these guys do, which is actually very unique, is if I were to feel it, you're gonna see this oil comes off of it. And oil, if you mix oil and water, oil floats. So this actually produces oil to make the shark more buoyant in the water. Um, so that's one of the main features that I want my kiddos to identify. And then obviously coming down here, this is solely just her digestive tract. Um, they do have a brain up here at top, um, obviously used to control their senses. Um, and another lesser known fact is that they actually have a skeleton made of cartilage. Uh, but for the most part, that is going to be, again, kind of the main features I wanted my kiddos to see, the digestive tract, the liver, um, and if time allows, I do let them cut in to see the brain, and obviously if they wanna explore a little bit more, and that is your dogfish.